The equations of horizontal and vertical lines look a little different than most of the lines you've seen so far. Let's look at the equations of horizontal lines first. Here's a horizontal line. It includes the points negative 5, 4, negative 2, 4, 0, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, as well as many others. Notice that the y-coordinate of all the points is always 4. The other points on this line will also have a y-coordinate of 4. The x-coordinate has no effect on the y-coordinate, so the equation of a horizontal line can be written using just y. The equation of this line is y equals 4, because y equals 4 for every x. Similarly, the points on a horizontal line represented by y equals 1 also have a y-coordinate of 1, and the points on the horizontal line represented by y equals negative 3 always have y-coordinates of negative 3. Horizontal lines can always be represented as y equals a constant. Notice that the equations of the horizontal lines are all special cases of the slope-intercept form of a linear equation. For example, the horizontal line shown has a slope of 0 and a y-intercept of negative 3, which simplifies to y equals negative 3. Let's take a look at vertical lines. This line includes the points negative 3, 4, negative 3, 2, negative 3, negative 1, negative 3, negative 4, as well as many others. Each point on this line has an x-coordinate of negative 3. The y-coordinate has no effect on the x-coordinate, so the equation of a vertical line can be written using just x. The equation corresponding to this line is x equals negative 3, because each x-coordinate is negative 3. Similarly, the equation of this line is x equals 2, because each x-coordinate is 2. Any vertical line can be represented by x equals a constant. The slope of a vertical line is not defined, so the slope-intercept form cannot be used to represent a vertical line.